of our pets. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, and the part of it that's really taken off in recent years are funerals. More and more pet owners are memorializing their best friends with elaborate cemetery plots and brass urns, even jewelry. Our Steve Bergen explains. You miss him a lot. Yes. Widow Catherine Onan memorialized her best friend and companion with a cemetery plot and this headstone. The border collie was 16 years old. It's the kind of grief others have difficulty comprehending. Any kind of grief is a, is a process that we go through. It's unique to each individual, to each scenario. 3,000 animals, including birds, spider monkeys, and a bow constrictor, are buried at the 32 year old. Ohio Valley Pet Cemetery in southern Indiana. Many pet owners choose cremation. In 2003, the Scott Funeral Home in Jeffersonville built a crematory just for animals and established a new business called Faithful Companions. A lot of families will want a paw print or a fur clipping done. Um, they'll want to look at an urn. They are honoring that relationship, and uh, that is a very healing. A healing thing. And that's how Catherine feels about Buddy. God, I'll do it again. All over. For Buddy. <laughs> if I find another Buddy like him. Steve Bergen, WLKY News. And we'll have much more on the pet funeral business coming up tonight at 6 right here on WLKY.